Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how you can create a shopping cart app icon in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by grabbing our pen tool, make sure that you have no fill selected and a black stroke. And I've got my stroke width set to 11 at the moment, yours can be whatever you like. And we're going to draw the shopping cart icon itself first. So if we left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to make sure that our line is perfectly horizontal and left click again, drag down. You don't need to hold shift for this one, otherwise it will try and snap like so. So we can just drag down, left click, and now we're going to hold shift again to keep everything perfectly straight. And there we go. Now we're going to go up to select and deselect. Now if you've got your smart guides turned on, up at view, down to smart guides, you'll see that little tick there. This will make it a lot easier because the pink guides will show up to help you line everything up. So when we go to our pen tool again, we're going to carry on drawing the shopping cart. You can just left click anywhere along this line and hold shift. I'm going to drag out to about here and left click again and go down to somewhere like this left click and then holding shift bring it back over here and left click again now at the moment it's okay it's a little bit long for my liking so I'm just going to select the direct selection tool drag over these three anchor points on the end and then holding shift and using the arrow keys I'm just going to nudge this in just so it's a little bit narrower in width And we're going to draw the wheels now, so just left click and hold to select that ellipse tool. Left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create a perfect circle. And we're going to bring these a little bit closer. And now to copy this wheel, just left click and then hold shift and alt and you can drag it over like so. This will create a copy of this shape. And you can just nudge the wheels on the shopping cart in as you need to with the arrow keys just using the left and right arrow keys to make sure that they stay level with each other and one last thing I'm just going to do is select the top part of my shopping cart excluding the circles and I'm going to go over to my stroke palette and I'm just going to select the cap is this one here the middle one round cap and you'll see it just rounds off these corners a little bit and I'm going to do that again select this top part and I'm going to set the corner to round it also so it just rounds off these corners so they're not they're not too sharp and I'm just going to go and increase the weight so if I select everything let's just knock the weight up to about 15 there we go that's a good weight so we've got our shopping cart let's select everything go to object and group that together so now when we drag it around it will all move as one element so now we need to create the icon shape itself. So let's select our rectangle tool, left click and hold shift to create a perfect square. And we're just gonna click this little uh, double headed arrow here to swap the fill and the stroke. Now, if you're using a CC version of Illustrator, you can select these little circles here and just drag to round off your corners. If you're not using a CC version of Illustrator and you're using, say, CS5, CS6 or older, that's absolutely fine. You just select the shape, go up to Effect, Stylize and Round Corners. And you specify your radius here, so specify how round you would like the corners to be. Let's say 50. And then if you want to edit this in future, just select the shape and go over to the Appearance Palette and you'll see it right here. And from there you can then select and you can delete the effect or you can click to edit as you like and select OK. So for now I'm just going to change this to 60, just increase that a little bit. And I'm going to draw a circle inside, so let's left click and hold, select our ellipse tool and then left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create that circle. And I want to position this now perfectly central, horizontally and vertically inside this shape. So let's just make our circle a different colour for now so you can see what I'm doing. 
So if we select both of these shapes, that's our rounded square and our circle, and then go up here, just tick this icon here and make sure align to selection is selected. So these two shapes will be aligned to one another and we'll horizontal align center and then vertical align center like so. And you can see now that the circle is perfectly in the middle. So now let's add a little bit of color. We chose black originally. I think I'm gonna pick orange, perfect. So I'll just double click that swatch, tick the global button. So this just means that if I did go back and I wanted to change this orange to say a green, for example, any instance of this orange in my illustrated document would be updated to this new color. So it is quite handy having global swatches to quickly and easily change colors if your document does have a lot of different shapes and colors. And we'll make the circle in the middle. Let's go with white. Again, we'll make that global. So now we've got our shopping cart icon. Let's make sure we have that on top. So go to object, arrange and bring to front. Okay, so it does look quite big. If we make that smaller, however, at the moment, we still have all these lines that have a stroke width of 15 applied to them. So if we shrink this down, holding Alt and Shift to scale towards the center, it will remember and retain that 15 uh, pixel stroke width. So as I bring it down, you'll see that the stroke and the lines and everything still stays at 15 pixels. And what we could do is we could just select this and we could then go and decrease the weight and adjust it that way. But if I'm perfectly happy with the icon as it is here at full size and I want to keep that proportion, what I can do is select the icon, go up to object, expand, leave fill and stroke ticked and click OK. And what happens now if I go into preview mode, that's command Y on the Mac or control Y on the PC. You'll see here that my shopping cart is now made up of all these different shapes. Now, if I select this, I can no longer edit the stroke weight. It is actually only a fill. It's a solid black fill. So when you do go up to object and expand, make sure you're ready to commit to your shape and that you are happy with it because you can undo this, but it's a bit fiddly. So what we're going to do now is just select our shape and we've got all these different shapes intersecting and that's fine, but let's tidy that up. So if you select your shopping cart icon, go up to the Pathfinder palette and select the top left one, which is Unite. There we go, nice and clean. So now what happens when we bring this down again, that's holding Alt and Shift to scale towards the center. You'll see that it stays proportional to when it was full size and the width of all our lines is exactly how we want it to be. Let me just bring that down a little bit more. And again, you can align the shopping cart using the align tools, or you can do it by eye. And I'm just gonna select this and I'm gonna give it the orange fill as well. Now I'm just going to add one more thing. If this were an app icon on, say, an iPhone, for example, you may have a notification within the app. So we're just going to add a little notification symbol up here to tell the user that they have, say, a message or some kind of notification waiting for them within the app. So we're going to select our ellipse tool, left click and hold shift again to create that perfect circle. Now I'm going to fill this shape with, let's say, a blue, something like this, maybe a pinch darker. There we go. Just double click that swatch, make it global. And I'm going to drag this here. So you'll see with smart guides turned on, as I drag this shape, it will snap the center of this shape to the top right corner of my app icon, which is perfect. Now I'm going to select my type tool left click anywhere on the artboard and I'm going to type three. We can just scale that up holding shift. 
if we don't hold shift it will skew our number so that's quite important and I'm going to select good old Helvetica Nui or Helvetica Nui, Nui however you say it and I'm going to select align center so if I did change this text in future and type say 22 or two digits it would keep it central let's bring that up in size a little bit let me go 72 let me make it a touch bolder go for medium and I'm gonna make the color for this white let's just try another couple of ideas so I'm just gonna swap the fill and the stroke and I'm going to increase the weight of this ring and then I can make the shopping cart white so you can experiment with lots of different ideas like this you can change the color all sorts of different things but I think I think for now I'm actually going to go back to how we had it so something like this I'm, I'm relatively happy with this and I've pre-created a backdrop you may have an image or something that you'd like to lay this icon on it's entirely optional optional um, but there we go we've created a shopping cart app icon in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.